Welcome back to the channel here. I have an unboxing. This was sent to me. Uh, just kind of arrived in the mail the other day. Unexpected. Didn't know it was on its way. Well, I kind of knew it was on its way because uh, Nana of Seven Crafts had told me to be on the lookout for it, that it was on its way. I didn't realize it was almost to me by that point. Um, this is from Treasure Studios Art. Um, my new station alert has arrived. That's my phone. Thank you very much. Uh, got a new station alert. Yes, we, we love those around here. They scare us. But, okay. So, yeah, it's from Treasure Studios Art. Um, it's a, a new artist. Uh, it's a new release. This one is uh, a new... Uh, the artist is, just a second here, Deborah Dixon. I've got it here on my screen. Um, I saw it, and I was like, oh, I've got to, got to get this one. So... Rachel sent it to me to help uh, promote the new artist, Deborah Dixon. So we will take a look at it. It did arrive this time in a white box, like this. However, inside the white box is one of TSA's awesome tubes. Uh, it's a beautiful tube. I love TSA's tubes. Absolutely love them. They are awesome looking. So let's see what's inside that you, after you pull the top off, nothing in the top. It's even got a sticker on the end to show you which one it is and what it is. So we'll set that over there. And then you just gotta dump this out. <laughs> and there's nothing else left in the tube. Even the ends are marked. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Rachel went all out with her tubes and I love them. And the outside of the tube does have the six steps for diamond painting on the outside. And so inside the tube we have we have a canvas wrapped in a plastic bag. You open on the end and it comes out like that. And inside said plastic bag is TSA toolkit, which we'll get to in a moment. A canvas. And wrapped inside the canvas are the drips. We'll set those off to the side for a moment. We'll put this down here. Hopefully the dog won't eat it by the time, uh, the time we get to it. So first thing we'll do is we will unbox the toolkit. If you all have not ever seen a DAC toolkit, these are amazing. She puts it in this little this little uh, lacy mesh bag. It's kind of made out of the same stuff that women's lingerie is made out of. <laughs> it's the best way I can try. I don't know the name for it. I'm sorry. Tool. Hmm? Tool. I, tool? I get my... Okay. I, I don't... Alright. So Rachel includes a squishy. A little pink squishy. Squish, 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 squish. Yep. Okay. And... Uh, you have a plastic tip pen. You can see there's plastic single placer on your typical, you know, plastic glitter straw pen. And but it also came with a four placer, plastic, skinny thin four placer. Right, this there it is. Yes. And it came with a seven placer thin seven plastic four placer and a looks like a nine straightener I can't exactly read any numbers on it if there are any but it looks like a nine straightener and you've got the tweezers and because this is this is a square kit but it comes with uh, TSA's they're not branded but TSA's pink round tip tweezers very nice metal set of tweezers I love these not only that I don't really use them a lot for diamond painting to be honest with you I don't use tweezers a lot for diamond painting I usually keep a set around just in case I need to pop a drill off here and there that I might put down wrong but mostly these things are really good if, if you build models they're really good for building models with to be honest with you I, I keep them around for that and you got the uh, Mosfa tray or boat or whatever y'all want to call it see it says MOSFA right there on the bottom of it 
that's how we get that name. And it's got the spout, the ridges, it's a little tray. I don't use those very much. We've just got stacks and stacks and stacks of them around here. And it got a two, two plates of wax, two of the double plates of wax. So that's your standard TSA toolkit. Which is better than better than most? I'll be honest with you. Uh, most tool kits are just a pen, a placer, and some wax and a little cheap tray. Um, you know, Rachel gives a little extra there, which I really like. So then that'll go off to the side. Now the part y'all been waiting for is the canvas. This canvas is a seventy by sixty. It is called Pucker Up Sweetie by Deborah Dixon. I absolutely love this. I saw it. I had to have it. It is a 70 by 60 square. Absolutely the cutest thing ever. It's going to be confetti hell. <laughs> but it'll look good when it gets done. I'm going to love this one. The drill, the it, this is a mounting film adhesive. Again, if anybody doesn't know this already, if you're new to the channel, you're new to TSA, um, in the diamond painting industry, there are two types of adhesives. Uh, Treasure Studios Art provides a third type of adhesive. Uh, you either have the double-sided adhesive, which comes with the opaque paper cover that's got the blue printing diagonally all over it. That is double-sided adhesive. Um, it's okay. I, I, you know, I don't know that I have a preference in type. Everybody says, "Oh, I like, the, I like the poured glue." Oh no, I like double side. I don't really have a preference as long as it's sticky, and the stuff sticks down to it. I'm not really too upset about it. You know, I don't know. I get it. Some people are different. Like Diamond Art Club does the, the uh, poured glue, and theirs is good as well. Um, but TSA uses mounting film adhesive and it's got the clear plastic cover but it's a thicker clear plastic cover it's not like your uh your chinese uh aliexpress plastic covers it's a much thicker more durable plastic cover it's not that thin flimsy stuff um mounting film adhesive is basically museum quality adhesive uh, it won't yellow over time it won't dry out and crack over time so uh you might find that years from now your diamonds may be falling off of your old aliexpress one maybe even your diamond art club uh their their adhesive will eventually dry crack become brittle kind of like when you when you open up your old photo album that had those white cardboard pages with the little sticky dots all over it and you peeled the the cellophane back and you put the picture in and it stuck on there really nice but then over years that turned brown and it it stops sticking and the, the pictures fall out from underneath the, the, the plastic covers on the pages. That will not happen with a TSA. This is a museum quality mounting film adhesive. I'm sorry about the thing. I'm, my mic is sitting here. I keep forgetting it's on the thing. So you're probably getting plunk, plop, plop, plop every time I put my hands down. But that's what TSA has. Uh, it's very, very sticky. I mean, you don't want to put a drill down in a place you don't really want it because it's going to stick. Um, we've actually, I know Pam cannot really do much with TSAs because it actually hurts her hand trying to move drills around that get placed uh, errantly or whatever, or maybe placed a little bit off and she has to move it. She has a hard time with it because it is very sticky adhesive. And uh, for me, that's a good thing. I like a really sticky, strong adhesive. And if you're heavy-handed, you're really going to stick them on there. And they're going to stay. They're not going to come off. I have never had a popping drill on a TSA yet. But that also has to do with drill quality. Drill quality is pretty awesome. So yeah, this is a 60 by 70 or a 70 by 60. And like I said, it is Pucker Up Sweetie by Deborah Dixon. I will provide the link down below. Be my link. Um... If you know, I'm a TSA affiliate, so if you want to help out the channel, which we could really use some help right about now. We've had some rough times here lately, but uh, if you want to 
if you would like to pick this one up you can use my link down below and there's also going to be a code there if you use the link along with my code you will get 15 percent off of your order of fifty dollars or more at treasure studios art and then i'll get a little cut of that you know and and it would really help out a lot if you did so make sure you use my link if you want to buy from treasure studios art they got so many wonderful artists there so many great paintings and the quality is amazing all right so let's flip that over let's take a look at the drills comes with an inventory sheet which i will say uh tsa's inventory sheets are amazing um they absolutely are wonderful because they're they're very informative they come with a nice color picture of what the image will look like when complete i love that teal behind him that is so cool and it tells you that it is a square and it shows the picture name the size and you even have all of your socials if you need to get in touch with uh, tsa and it says please make sure that you check that all colors and diamonds are supplied and if you have any issues with this diamond painting kit please contact via email or use the live chat on the website or facebook and rachel is very very good about making sure the stuff comes out rachel and peter i i keep saying rachel but her husband Peter helps out with this as well. It's a team effort at TSA. And Rachel and Peter are two of the nicest people you will ever want to deal with in customer service. They are just outstanding people, top to bottom, front to back. They are great, wonderful people. So don't hesitate to reach out to them if you have an issue whatsoever with your canvas um, because they will make sure that it's, it's made right. Okay, so the drills are in baggies and it appears to be that they are actually in order by DMC number except for these uh, massive amount of 310s there oh, those are 3799 they're actually a dark gray um, let's set them off to the side there but these should be pretty much in order by uh, DMC number so I'll pull it out here like this, and we'll start at the bottom of the list, 939. Well, oh, 959, 939. Oh, I guess they are not in order. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to find that out now. Um, first one we want to find is 152, 152, 152, where are you? Yes, I know you all know that old TV show. 152 there it is there's 152 168 it's in here somewhere 168 and 169 is right there beside it 223 reminds me of the old tv show 227 223 don't tell me y'all don't know that show uh 301 and 317 it's right there and 415 what i do like is these almost appear to be vacuum packed if you can see how it's like it's like there's no air in the baggies whatsoever this one here same thing there's like zero air in the baggies and there's like some paper in there i wonder if is rachel putting pieces of dryer sheet in the baggies to prevent static or is it just oh it's just a piece of the backing from one of the stickers <laughs> I was like oh that'd be awesome if Rachel realizes there might be static and puts the includes the dryer sheets but I think that comes from the factory in China actually 317 415 453 they are kind of in order from the bottom up uh, 500 535 right there there's a lot of grays and dark gray light gray medium gray <laughs> i think every shade of gray not all 50 i don't know if there are actually 50 y'all i don't get me to lie in there um 
762 762 and 819 819 right there And 823. Yes, I'm doing my inventory live so y'all can see it. 921. 928. See, now they are kind of in order there. And 931. 932. Hmm. 934 and then we get into our 939 which I'm going to put right over here on the side beside it because it's a big bag and 943 there 959 which is right there it's a nice pretty green that's going to be in the background it's a greenish blue um, 3031. Now we're getting there's a lot of three the, in the 3000s on this one. Um, 3031. Oh, right there. I have my hand on it. That's why I couldn't see it. 3041. Right there. 3072, 3726, now they're, yeah, there we go, they're in order, 3743, and let's lay these out so we can see them better. Um, 353, 3753, 3756, 3766, right there, awesome, 3768, right there, 3799, this is the second big one right there, here, let me put these right here, actually. And 3808, 3814, right there, 3846, and 3859. So there we go. All of the drills are there. They're usually with TSA. You won't run out of drills. But if you do, again, contact Rachel and Peter. They will make it right. They will get you all your drills you need. Um, it's a square, and um, I haven't done, I actually I have started on a TSA square before. I've started working on one of my John Poppletons, and I like the way the squares fit together. I've had zero issues whatsoever with my square drills from TSA. So we will, uh, we're not going to kit this up right away because Amber and I are working on our hashtag whip slash for the rest of this year. We are trying to slash the number of whips we have because we are serial starters. <laughs> We get a new kit in and we're like, we just got to work on that one. And we kit it up and we start working on it. And then we get another new one that we just have to work on. And so we end up serial starting. And we never finish. <laughs> so we will uh, we'll be putting this one away to work on at a later time. Can't wait to actually work on it because it is a nice painting. And I think it'll look really good hanging somewhere here. I mean, I don't know how many of y'all would want a kissing gorilla, like, hanging in your living room, but I would. <laughs> I don't know if Amber thinks the same way, though. I know I want a monkey. I want a real monkey. Like, a real live, actual monkey that wears a diaper and does really cool things. Huh? Yep. So there you have it, folks. 35 colors. They are very nice, vibrant blues. 
I love 3846. Beautiful blue color. Camera doesn't even do it justice, which I will be getting a new camera very soon. I got some money for my birthday. I think I'm going to invest in a new webcam for, a, for my birthday so we get much better film quality. There you have it, folks. It's called Pucker Up, Sweetie by Deborah Dixon. My link, my code down below in the description. Also down below in the description, and remember, you are never obligated to do this. I, I No, you're not. But down below in my description is a buy me a coffee link. If you would just like to support the channel without buying a, a diamond painting, um, feel free to buy me a coffee. I, I, I would greatly appreciate anything. Again, you're not obligated. Never. But uh, it really would help out. So there you have it, folks. Puck Up Sweetie by Deborah Dixon, Treasure Studios Art. 35 colors, square, 70 by 60. Beautiful painting. I've got no complaints whatsoever. I uh, can't wait to get this one out at some point and start working on it when Amber and I are done with our whip slash. And if you'd like to take part in the whip slash, um, you know, go onto our group. That'll be linked down below as well, our Facebook group. And you can post your progress going with your whips and put a hashtag whip slash in there so that we know that's what it is. And we will see you again on our next live. Till then, rock on, y'all.